In this new series of short films produced in partnership with Google, we look at some of the big ideas that have shaped contemporary art in recent decades and which continue to resonate with artists today. In modern art, the role of the artist as the creator of the work was celebrated and primary in determining the artistic intention and meaning of the work. The anti-establishment mood of the 1960s, referenced throughout this documentary series, witnessed considerable societal and attitudinal shifts and brought with it a fundamental questioning of the idea of Western art and its history, the context in which it is presented and the role of the artist. This questioning fueled developments in so-called conceptual art practices, where the idea of art was being explored and critiqued, leading to a wide range of discursive strategies in the production and reception of contemporary art. In the climate of anti-establishment activism of the 1960s, the prevailing values and forms of art, modern art, came under attack. Modern art was discredited as highbrow and bourgeois, grounded in a reductive and elitist formalism that had seen art move away from realism, representation and narrative in the mid-19th century towards abstraction by the mid-20th century. The focus in modern art on the aesthetic experience generated by the skillful handling of materials and form, was attacked as divorced from the social and political realities of society. Whereas forms of artistic experimentation in modernism were problematized as a continuation of Western exploitation and cultural colonialism, co-opting so-called primitive cultures in a quest for invention without reference or respect. Modern Art Oxford's exhibition programme has reflected new developments in art for more than half a century. Here is a snapshot of some of the key movements which have charted ideas in contemporary art practices and in society over the past 50 years. Minimalism was a reaction against the high art orthodoxy of abstract expressionism using non-high art, industrial materials, in systematic and rational order where the hand of the artist and creative expression is refuted. Likewise, pop art's celebration of popular culture and consumerism was the antithesis of a rereading of modern art's bourgeois, aesthetically elitist ideology. Some artists moved away from the conventional gallery space in order to escape the problematic authority of institutional spaces working in the landscape and of course inspired by and co-opting the forms of activism of the 1960s and 1970s, a new democratic and direct engagement with audiences emerged in performance art, which also enacted a resistance to art's commodification by the art market. Conceptual art's privileging of ideas over forms and the so-called dematerialization of art provided a diverse range of strategies to explore new ideas of what art is and for whom it is produced and by whom it could be created and to what purpose, all of which undermined and contested modernist conventions. As we have seen in earlier documentaries, a wide variety of political issues, race and identity, gender and sexuality, the environment, migration, science and technology, all asserted non-normative, unconventional and marginal experiences which are characteristic of post-modernity and which have defined the gallery's internationally acclaimed exhibition programme. For more information on Modern Art Oxford and our programmes, please visit our website where you'll also find a wide range of materials relating to our history and links to artists and themes as well as details of our current exhibitions and events. We very much look forward to seeing you at the gallery soon.